is going on today guys we're gonna be doing some more work on the metal fenders that we have made for the 240 so today I'm planning on grinding all these tacks down and uh, sounds like dad's gonna come in here with the hammer and dolly do a little bit of work on these as well and uh, maybe if we get all that done I'll be able to lay down the first layer of Bondo but uh, I don't know We'll just see how today goes, we'll see what gets done, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Like I said, I am going to start off just grinding all these tacks down. So uh, let's do it to it, shall we? This is going to be good. Do you want us to get all this stuff? ground down they feel nice and flat but there's some things that we need to clear up like this arc was just rough cut we knew we'd have to change it this we want to have kind of a bow to it so first thing I'm going to do is jack up the the wheel a little bit and just so I can see how it fits Imagine that that fender's not there, the black part that's covered up with the tape. Oh, baby. So I think that helped. Kind of tried to, to bring this. This bump is really cool. I really like it. It's got this cool wave that goes up and over underneath the vent. But it was just sticking out a little much for my taste. And now you can see it's got kind of a smooth angle over the top. You know what? I think, honestly, I've got to cut this edge here and I think maybe I'm gonna stop messing with this fender. I'll bring Jonas out and see what he thinks. In the front, so it's wiggly, but the rest of the lines are good. Fuck yeah, that looks really awesome. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it looks awesome. I, I'm done messing with it. Yeah, no, nah, I think it's time I think, to just go. <laughs> I think it's ready for Bondo. Bondo. Bondo! <laughs> For big jobs! <laughs> big job, Bondo! <laughs> oh my god. Well, time for a uh, bonder. Well, Dad's on the other side trimming the fender flare. I am going to do the Bondo on this side. I've got it sand it down with some 80 grit so as you can see on the steel there are these nice little hooks for the bondo and on the top we've got it sanded down a lot it's super scuffed up so the bondo should stick well I'm gonna start mixing and then applying bondo around town okay so last time we made like maybe the first time we made metal fenders we had a really easy time of making the front one and the second one was a bitch because it was you, you make the first one right and then the second one needs to be matched to it. This time we made a paper template of the cut we just made and I moved it over here and, and Jonas and, and Schwab did such a good job of making the metal the same size that it just fits, which is sick. All I have to do is put the tape on and cut. Stoked. All right, so the Bondo is now on the fenders. Uh, I'm guessing I'm probably gonna do this twice, maybe more. Uh, I was kind of hoping that maybe I got good enough at it to just do it in one go, but it's not looking to be that way. Oh well. Got to wait for this to dry, and then uh, we'll get into uh, sander down. What are you up to? Uh, well, we just cut the fender, and this one isn't naturally as in, in as good a shape so I'm just kind of hammering and dollying it and I don't know if this is 
the worst thing in the world or the second worst thing in the world, but I'm using a leather hammer which actually smashes the metal really quickly and it works great for bowing the fender. I'm really stoked on it. It'll be about a half an hour or so banging on this thing and I think we'll have it just like the other side. Sick. trying to kind of create this line here that sort of fades in and out of the car sort of like right here so the Kogoshi fenders in the front the way the top this whole top section is kind of brought out so I, I wanted to like make a little bit of a, like a shelf here similar to the way the Kogoshi fenders do but I'm not a huge fan of the Koguchi fenders, so I made these. <laughs> it's working though. There's so a little so flat okay. spot right there. I mean, it needs more, but it's getting there, which is cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start stripping the stock wiring harness. So like the all the lights and turn signals, whatnot fuse boxes. I'm going to keep them here. I'm going to keep them in the car just because that's the simplest way for me to get this car on the road, to get it running, to get it, you know, drift skid ready. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. It, I would love to make like a, a full light harness myself, but I don't know if I could do that, honestly. So I don't want to, uh, like cripple this whole project by trying to learn how to make a wiring harness for you know turn signals and taillights and whatnot. Because this car is going to be so low we're going to have to reroute basically the the entire wiring harness will have to be rerouted so tearing off this old you know this old wrap will make that a hell of a lot easier. This is a kind of pain in the ass project that just sort of has to get done so I figured I might as well get it done today while I'm waiting for some Bondo to dry. So honestly, I got nothing better to do. Okay, so this is where we're at. We've got that little bracket over there holding the wiring harness nice and close to the firewall, bringing it up and over the wheel. So I'm going to keep going. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit more of that tape stuff, uh, that shielding around the rest of this, and then I'll drape it over the top of the rest of the fender. This is now in the car and it looks uglier than it did when I walked in here this morning. Isn't, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> uh, I love going backwards with project cars. Bondo's dry now, so we're gonna sand Bondo and hopefully finish up these fenders, get them primed. Ah, oh, shit. 
do plan to run a little bit of spacer in the back and I'm also going to be running a lot bigger tire. This is a 22540 I believe. So I'm probably going to be running like a 245, 255 maybe on this car. So we'll need that extra space up in there for sure. Oh look at that. Bam. On the other side, it's sanded down quite a bit, but it needs another layer. You can see there are lots of low spots in there. I cut out the gas door earlier, and I didn't film it because I was just kind of pissed off the whole time. And uh, Sam Squamps went around, and he hit it with the hammer and dolly and kind of finished off the edges real nice for me. So, Dad and I got kind of uh, off track with things here. So, um... We went ahead and started sanding the door. And the door is pretty straight, but it's got a few little dings. And then after the door, we kind of moved to the roof. And, uh, well, the roof cleaned up pretty well. The fenders didn't get primed, but in the next video, we are going to be priming the whole car. So we're going to prime doors and prime the roof. I'm gonna prime the trunk. We're not gonna prime the hood because the hood's a freaking mess. Sorry guys, no primer this video. But next video we'll friggin' prime the whole damn thing. So that'll be super badass. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Man, that's creepy as fuck.